welcome to UK Paranormal Search and welcome back to our return to Newsham Park Hospital in Liverpool on Merseyside. Now the script was tonight was to actually bring Amy with us tonight but unfortunately for other circumstances she can't make it which is a real shame to be honest because I really wanted to bring her here because if you look back on the other videos Amy's really sensitive and she's also sensitive to anything that is resolved around children and with this being an orphanage it's been a fantastic opportunity to come and investigate this place from her perspective but she can't make it so unfortunately you're gonna to have to pull up with me all night again going off on my own and that'll probably mean by the end of the night the words will be well nothing much happened but we'll wait and see i've come open-minded as usual and we'll see what happens so come with me as we investigate Eugene park hospital so this place we're in now this is the place i didn't get into last time is the old cinema area and um, let's try and get you a bit more video on what happened or where i got you to last time there was a few people knocking around as, as you can hear but i'm on my own at the moment that's the guard dog you can hear outside so i say this is the old cinema area i'll just show you this is the old uh, body trolley i was told you on the last video that's what we used to take the bodies out of out of the wards and then take that trolley down to the wards and I've actually used that trolley on many occasions in my own hospital I actually used to work in well I still do work in one and use that and I used to hear you coming because there used to be a chain on it and that used to lift up so if there's any spirits with us in this hospital tonight anybody that wishes to come and communicate with me can you please come forward Give us a sign that you are here. If you could make a sound for me. That's the rain you can hear outside. I can hear some noises outside, but that's just the rain. If you can move that trolley that they used to move the deceased people on, if you could rattle the chain at the bottom or maybe tap on it, that would be fantastic. Can you do that for me? Can you make a sound? Any sound at all? exactly the sort of thing we used to use now if I remember rightly on this there used to be like an outline of a body of a figure can't actually see it on camera and there's the chain I was talking about when we used to go down the corridors at night this used to rattle and everybody everybody used to hear us coming and knew what it was yeah that's the body's volume up. this one's got a little pillow on it ours didn't so this is a deluxe model So can you, it's a long time since I've pushed one of these guys. <laughs> so if you want to move that trolley for me, any time tonight, that'd be fantastic. You can do that for me. So is there any spirits in this cinema? Anybody that wishes to come and communicate with me? I'm on my own down here. Can you make a sound? Can you knock on something? sit on one of these chairs or move one of these chairs if this is what you used to sit on if your chair is here can you move it there's a hell of a draft real draft in here but that's just that window there as you can see behind me it's just boarded up so the wind's got up again tonight as well and it was very windy here last time we actually investigated this place so it is drafty but that's just the window it's just been boarded up and it's just open plan outside, so that's what that is. We've just come up, up, up the stairs now from the cinema area, we're just on like a landing area. Uh, don't know what it is, there is a smell of, it smells like sweets in here. What's somebody been baby? What we don't know about, it smells like all those old fashioned 
sweets you used to get, like a sweet set when you were a child, that's what it smells like. I'll just go into this room now, I don't know what this room is. It looks like the bundles have been here because it says something about Jesus on the wall and Jesus loves you but Satan or something, there's all these crosses on here. But there's loads of weird noises in here because the, <laughs> there's plastic sheeting on the windows and it's raining outside and the wind's got up and it's it sounds really spooky. And there's all these old beds here as well. Now Liam Brady was apparently here as well, I don't know which room he was in, but apparently his bed is still here, I believe. So how true that is, I don't know. So maybe that's it. I honestly really don't know. So there's any spirit people with me? Anybody that wishes you to come and communicate? Can you come forward? Give us a sign that you were here. Can you knock on something? Well, you feel something here, yeah. I just feel really weird. In what way? Oh, I can't describe it. It's like... Yeah, it stops. Thank you. Was it like fingers or...? Yeah, like two fingers. Just stroke your head, yeah. And they say it must have been a tall person. Like that on your head. Something like... Do you like playing with the lights? I want to hear like a noise or footsteps or... What have we ever heard? No, that's what I want to hear. Yeah. I want to hear footsteps. Okay, so yeah. now we can... That's what I want to hear. We know you're here because you've been playing with the yeah, light for Thank week. you so much for that. So if you're using our power, do you want to knock on something or mm -hmm. let us hear your footsteps or move a chair slightly? Try and use our energy to do that. Use your energy in the room. We know you can do the lights. Try and knock or move something. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. No, I've, I've been here on my own. I've been here with you. I have not heard that noise. If somebody just that made that like noise behind Andrew, can you make that noise again? Wasn't it? That's weird. Oh, we know you can do the red light. Can you try and make the noise again? Why even a stone, maybe? window or a tap mm. on black one. So it was that try, try and recreate that noise. Try. Try, keep, keep asking for that again, it's brilliant. Can you just make that noise? Can you make it again for us just to show that we should make a noise? It would be really great if we could. That? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you just make that noise again? Yeah. But I say, I've been down here, I've not heard anything like that, so I can't put that down to outside. No, and we all turned around, didn't we, then, at the same time. So use the energy in the room, then. We know you can do the light, because you've been doing that brilliantly for us. Make a tap, move a chair, Just make another noise again. Prove to us that there's somebody here. Spirits are with us. Yeah, it was that corner, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. That's what interests me more than anything. It's just funny how you said, mm -hmm. I want to hear something. You might want to hear something again. Use the energy in the room, make a noise. How calm that's gone now. Give me some footsteps. Footsteps. That's you making footsteps, can you make them again? Or knock? So come up the stairs now, come up the other building. I'm not really sure what this bit used to be. It's just, I don't know, just rooms going off to each other. But that's a toilet area in here. It is becoming derelict like this place though now it looks all the windows are boarded up and everything else. Pitch black. Debris on the floor.
floor there too, see if he's hanging off. Came to this bit last time, to be honest. Is anybody here? Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Who wish to come forward? You can make a sound or throw a stone, maybe. Would you like to throw a stone? This looks like some kind of linen room, maybe. Um, just a little room with shelving on the wall. There's been lots of deaths in this place. As you know, from from <laughs> what I was then. That was the well, you could just saw it out the corner of my eye. I thought it was something there. But as I was saying, there's been lots of deaths in this place. And there's a lake at the back, in front of the hospital, there's a lake there. And apparently, four people have been found dead in the lake as well when this was a hospital. I think one member of them could have been staff as well. I'm not sure about that one. But even the road, as I say, it was an orphanage. It started off as an orphanage. And the road is called Orphan Drive. So. Again, that adds to this being an orphanage at the time. But as I said, there's loads of staff members that have refused to come back here. You said the place is full of evil. And there's a lot, even when staff worked here, there were certain areas that these staff wouldn't go in, apparently. So, you know, definitely things have happened to people here. Again, I feel absolutely fine. So, what I'm going to do now is walk to the top corridor I think and see if there's anybody on the top ward and what I want to do is find that bed if you look at the last video when Angie was with us and she was a bit concerned about the bed and she felt the bed moved and and that a lot of things happened to her in that room so I'm going to go back there now and see if anything happens in that room I can find it that is let's go up the staircase towards the top This wasn't the room where the bed was. I can't actually remember being in this room last time. Looks like the old staff office there. I'm not sure what's in there. I think it's just a kitchen. Dark in here though, guys. Really dark in here. Toilet area in there as well. Again, it's about 11.30 at night, nothing's happened to me at the moment. Um, but the night's young, sometimes it's better just maybe, as I've just been speaking to Chris downstairs from my haunts, and he was saying sometimes, he, and he agreed with me, it's just better talking normal sometimes without calling out, maybe, and then sometimes something just happens. But at the moment, it's quiet, guys, and that's the truth. Winds now really got up again tonight. I remember the last time I was here, it was really windy, and it's it, it's not like that again tonight. It's really really windy. But this place, it's it, I think it serves as an orphanage for like over seventy years as well, and um, you know lots of children pass through here. And um, the Second World War, the facility was turned into after the Second World War it was then turned into the uh, Newsham Park Hospital, where it became accurately. No, there's a prison, I and mean, it was had dangerous criminals here. As I say, Liam Brady was here, I believe. And uh, yeah, so a lot of people have gone through this place, lots of history. But at the moment, as I say, nothing's happened to me at the moment. You know, the children they, that were here, they, they, they were under really, really strict discipline as well. They were very, very, very well disciplined. They were, they were punished, quite sadistically punished as well, I believe by the matrons of this, that used to staff the hospital. Also during the, the second, second World War, I think the, when the children were evacuated, obviously because of World War II, I think, I think it was also used as a, as a military hospital to it during the war times. And after that, it was, and after the, after the war, it was converted then into a hospital. 
I think it opened its doors in, in 1940, 1954, I think it opened its doors as a hospital and then took the mentally ill and elderly, the psychiatric wing. But it was known, I believe, for its poor patients, poor treatment of patients as well in here. They also say as well some of the patients were actually put in straitjackets and experiments, experiments actually took, took place on them. How true that is, I honestly don't know. This door, don't know. This is, I say, this is ward. That's the way out. This is the bedrooms. I thought this was the room where the bed was, where Angie was, which was here, but maybe I got it wrong. This is the wrong room. I don't know, but I'm sure this was the room where it happened. When she had the bed here, and there was, was a chair over here, so she saw a lady sat in the chair. <clears throat> and the hospital, another hospital, I think stopped taking patients in the, in the 80s and it was officially closed, I think, in 1992. And when Rainhill Asylum closed down, I think the patients from there were were actually brought here to this hospital. And then after these patients came, I think it was finally shut, I think it was 1997, when it closed its doors for good. The focus keeps going out of this camera. Is there anyone here? I'm on my own now. Any ex-patients or staff that wish to come and communicate with me? I'm asking you to come forward. Give us a sign that you are still here for whatever reason. Come on, there's supposed to be loads of sightings here. The former ward clerk that worked here, she said in the 1970s and 1980s that staff were terrified going into certain parts of the hospital. Apparently she could feel the evil of you. Are you here tonight? Can you come and affect me? Make a sound. You knock like this. Now that was a knock, but it was smooth from downstairs or somewhere else. If that was you knocking, could you please knock again? Can you knock again, please? Maybe move these curtain rails up here. Make them rattle like this. That was the room that was in last time up here. I remember coming up here, but I'm sure that was the room. I'm sure it was the room, but we've just been in where Angie had the, the feeling on the bed when she felt she felt the bed move and she had weird vibes when she was here, if you look back at the video, uh, even before the night started, when we did the walk around, and apparently her legs were giving way, it, it, it made her feel sick. And she didn't like it one bit. It's this weird, I just don't feel apprehensive at all. I just feel, I don't know. I thought it was because I work in the hospital, and I know what a hospital looks like at night, maybe. I don't feel at all spooked at all. Can you shut one of these doors? These locker doors? Like that? Can you knock? Can we hear your voice? Can you whistle?
Come on, is there any patients that were treated badly here? Any patients that came from Rainhill Hospital? Any of the nasty staff that were here? The staff that punished the children too much? Are you still here keeping an eye on the building? Do you regret what you did? Bella again later on somewhere maybe the people who we uh, did a bit of a visual with before they want, they want to come back with me at some point so hopefully some part during the night we'll go back with them and just see how they investigate and see what they do.